All right then guys, welcome to the video, welcome back to the channel, and today is an exciting one because if you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know I've been hunting for this part for a little bit of time, and I finally found one. I've managed to find a genuine buddy club bonnet for the EP3, and basically finding one of these that hasn't had any carbon damage has been challenging. There was a brand new one of these popped up on eBay a few months ago. It was like £1,200 or something like that. I was very close to buying it because I didn't think I'd ever actually find one in the condition, but I did know that the secondhand price of these is less than half of that, so I knew that I'd be able to fix one up for less than buying it brand new. What we have here, it seems that the clear coat has had some fading issues. There's a chunk taken out of part of it here as well, but the carbon fiber itself is actually in perfect condition, which is the bit that is very important to me. The other great thing with this bonnet is that it has come with the rain guard for the vent on the top as well, which was a crucial part for me because I just didn't want water just flooding into the engine bay when it rains. I was almost tempted to give it a polish and see if that would just help, but to be honest, there's like bits in some of the clear and that sort of stuff. So I think it's just be easier to just get the full thing relacquered and it's going to look a lot better so the plan is to head over to a local body shop and hope that they'll take it i'm going in blind basically haven't rung them up or anything so at least get their opinions on what we can do moving forward and then i am going to get it ppf because i don't want it to end up like the front grille of the civic with chunks taken out of it from rock chips and what have you so i just thought i'd bring you along for the journey and hopefully by the end of this video i've got a fresh bonnet to install on the civic <music> I'm down at Car Transformers. You may have seen these sign in the background of Wheeler Dealers if you've watched that show, but basically dropped the bonnet off a couple of days ago, but they were kind enough to wait for me before actually starting any work on the bonnet, which is pretty cool. So I'm down here today to film the starting process of the bonnet getting rubbed back before it goes in for the relacquer. So I've basically gone full send in terms of the lacquer choice, but it's getting done with a product called Cyrox. So that's going to be in a couple of weeks, but I'm not in a major rush to get this bonnet back. So I'm going to head inside, show you the bonnet, and then they're going to get on with starting to rub back. But let's get inside and check it out. Okay, so here is the bonnet and it's about to get very loud and very messy. So I thought I'd quickly show you this now, but it's just about to get hit with a 500 grit first. That's going to be the test to see what happens and then we'll see from there basically. But this is the last time it's going to look like this. <laughs> Okay, so this panel, as you just saw, that's just been hit with a 500 grit, like I've already said. So the idea is now we're gonna wipe it down and in theory, we should be able to see the weave now that that clear's come off it and to know what sort of base we're working with. <laughs> So now that the clear is off, we can actually have a look at the quality of the carbon and apparently it is in really good shape and actually is a really nice weave. I'm assuming that's just because it's Buddy Club, they've obviously got some crazy high quality control over in Japan. It looks like this thing's gonna come up really well. So what we're gonna do is gonna spray some stuff on it to basically act like lacquer, but it's obviously just sort of as an idea of what it will look like. <laughs> This fills me with a lot of excitement because this is going to look so good when it's done. I'm very happy because obviously this was the bit that you never really know about until you actually see it. The cool thing to note as well is it looks really dull because the clear coat has obviously faded. Whereas once the new clear coat goes on, this carbon fiber is just going to pop like crazy in the sun. So I literally cannot wait to see this thing done. It's going to look so good. But yeah, going to do the rest of the bonnet and then it's ready to go in for clear. Lots of work still to do, obviously. The next time we see it is actually going to be done, which I'm very excited about. It's now waiting game i'm very excited to see what this thing is going to look like but that's going to be in a few weeks for me but i guess will be not very long for you at all so future ollie will update you with more information when he knows it okay thank you past ollie it's actually been six entire months since that last clip various different things have happened which meant that this thing couldn't be done until now it's actually two days before christmas so this is basically a christmas present i haven't seen this yet i didn't cover this you're going to get my genuine reaction on camera for the first time i am very excited because this has been a long time coming let's pull this thing off let's see what it looks like <laughs> oh my god oh my god i don't even know what to do oh because all of the mesh has been sorted out as well this is so sick i am actually speechless i can't believe this is going to be on my car this is amazing look at this thing up close it looks absolutely incredible i guess it's kind of hard to see it yeah, I don't really know how to show you guys. It's just 
super, super fresh. Brand new mesh went in here because if you remember, there was dripping clear coat from whatever had happened with it before. So that looks really good now. This thing, although it looks ready to go on the car, this is only part two or three of this video because this has been done for about a week at this point in time. But this thing needs to sit for about 12 weeks or so to be able to fully cure before I get this thing PPF'd. And that is the next step because there's no way I'm going to put this on the car. I mean, I could just put it on the car right now, but there's no way I'm going to do that and risk stone shipping it like what's happened with my Mugen grill. This thing's actually just going to go into storage for the next, well, 11 weeks from now. Okay, guys, so I know I said that I was going to put the bonnet in storage, and actually, I guess I technically have, but I'll show you where I've put it in storage. This is pretty cool, so check this out. So as you can see, I have mounted the bonnet above my desk. This is where I edit all my videos, and this is where the bonnet is living between the time of it getting the clear coat and the PPF. thought this was one, way cooler of a place to put it, and two, just gets it airing and up so that it's not covered or anything so it's actually in prime condition ready to be ppf'd when that does happen the other cool thing about this was i wasn't 100 percent happy with how it was like this for the night time so if i say hey siri turn the bonnet on there you go i've actually backlit this thing as well and yeah at night time this thing looks so cool whilst working or playing games at the desk or whatever and yeah obviously siri controlled as well so all in the smart home i actually i'm gonna be pretty gutted to take this thing down because obviously you're watching this in the future this will have been on the wall for three months before you guys have seen it so the urge to post this is very high and a pretty mental setup for around the desk area <laughs> Huge shout out to Car Transformers for getting this done. The next step for this thing is the PPF. I guess see you guys in about 11 weeks or so and we'll go and get this thing covered. So then guys, the day has finally come. It's actually not been 11 weeks. It's been about 10 months through a mixture of no PPF places getting back to me and me just liking the fact that it was on the wall and it looking really cool there. It means that yeah, it's taken its sweet time. But today is finally the day that the bonnet is going on the car and getting PPF. The bonnet is in the boot of the car. I'm gonna take off the standard one and swap it over to the carbon one because that is gonna make it easier to actually install the PPF today. And this is also gonna be the first time I've actually seen the bonnet on the car properly. I don't know why I didn't even think about test fitting this ever at any other point, which is crazy because it's been over a year that I've actually owned this bonnet now. Okay, so as you can see, I transport it here on an old duvet. What's really cool about the Buddy Club bonnet is that it does have all the provisions for mounting everything like an OEM bonnet, I believe, or at least that's what I'm hoping anyway. To remove the bonnet, as you can see, you have to remove all the clips that are holding on the washer jet tube. And these are annoying and luckily, I don't know how I've managed this, but I haven't broken any clip. As you can see, these kind of go in like that. So to get them out, you kind of got to pull towards you and then kind of twist out one way and it will eventually pop. But once I realized after about two of them that I wasn't going to break them, it's actually not too bad. And then obviously you have to take them off the washer jet here as well. So yet to do that. We've then got two 10 mil bolts on either side for the bracket that actually holds the bonnet up. And that is it. That is all you need to do to be able to remove this thing. So I'll catch you guys when I'm probably putting this bonnet on, I guess. Fast forward a couple of minutes and the bonnet is off. It's just on the grass over here. This is crazy. I've never actually taken a bonnet off a car before. So it's mad seeing the engine bay as well as the interior from here. So now I'm gonna yeah, put the carbon one on. Right, the moment of truth. Let's get this bonnet out. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, here is the massive sheet of PPF that is going on the bonnet. But what I thought I'd quickly show you is obviously this is gonna be an off cut here. So this bit is stuck down quite obviously, you can see the line, but, but once you are hiding that line around the edge of something, if I get close in on this, you're actually not gonna be able to tell that that's even there. And this isn't even on a prepped clean panel. There is the hard line there. But if you're looking at just this bit, there's no way you can really tell the difference between that and this. And so here is the bare complete sheet ready to go so it's been soaked on the underside of the actual ppf it's been soaked on top of the bonnet and now it's basically time for it to get put onto the car so in theory once this is on you're not actually going to be able to see that it's there fast forward a bit of time and just thought i'd show you the actual process of what happens so it's pretty much exactly the same as laying a big vinyl sticker because that is basically all it really is but as you can see a bit of heat to actually get it to conform to the edges and on this body club bonnet they've got some pretty extreme edges so the fact that this is even doing it is cool <laughs> So 
as you can see, the slit has been made for the event area and now it's all getting pressed into this edge. Obviously this area is such an area of low impact, but to get that seamless look, you've obviously got to wrap it round. It's just so interesting watching how well this material actually bends to the right spot and all that. And we're now getting to the point where all the edges are going to get folded over. So the next time this bonnet goes down, everything around the edges should be all done. So that's very exciting. And just like that, the bonnet is done for now. And as you can see, and you have been able to see, the grill hasn't been on the car. That's actually because I had to adjust where the latch actually sits for actually latching into the bonnet. The Buddy Club bonnet is a lot higher. The latch is a lot higher. So I've had to move this entire bracket up to be able to actually latch this thing down. So I'm now going to put the grill on, but I won't bore you with that. I'm going to wait and put the entire car back together before I show you guys. It's been a couple of days and I've learned a couple of things about this bonnet. First of all is that the holes for the washer jets were actually too small to get the washer jets in. So I've had to use a small file and file those out. What I am going to do is put new Honda Jazz washer jets in. I know I already have those in the standard bonnet, but for me, I don't know why, but I just want to run the two bonnets and they both still have washer jets in because I'm probably going to end up swapping back to the standard bonnet during winter just because the vent on the top is just going to leak all over the engine bay and it's just easier to run the other bonnet. So to make that switch over process easier, I'm going to add some more Honda Jazz washer jets. Something that these do not come with, which is very annoying, which I will show in a sec, is there is a little rubber washer gasket thing that sits between the jet and the bonnet. And for whatever reason, the Jazz washer jets don't come with them and there is not a part number for them anywhere. So this is a PSA. If you're going to change yours, keep a hold of those rubber gaskets. But equally, if you have a couple of sets or a bonnet or whatever lying around, I am after two more sets of rubber gaskets. So two sets of two. Also, let me show you the other thing that I've learned. As you can see, I have got all of these plugged in, but what it turns out is that the Buddy Club bonnet doesn't have all four. So as you can see, there was one of the clips just here. So I've had to delete one of those. That's supposed to be down there because yeah, there is just no provision. There's no hole for it anywhere down here. And these just pop in exactly the same way. I'm very scared that I'm gonna break the fiberglass when I pull these out to swap bonnets again. But as you can see, these line up perfectly with where they're supposed to be. So if you haven't done the Jazz wash upgrade just yet, then I would fully recommend it because you get a spray rather than the two jets and they're much better. I've been running them on the standard bonnet for ages. So there's the part number in case you actually want to change over. So I'll show you the little gasket things I'm talking about as well. So these are the jazz jets that I've taken off my standard one just so I can get this rubber piece off because I cannot find these anywhere. There is no part number for these. You'd think that the jazz washer jet comes with them but it just doesn't. So I'm going to put these on the new ones. I know this seems like a completely pointless thing to do but I was like well new bonnet new jets it makes sense and I'll stick these back on with no rubber gasket because I don't care as much about that until I find some other ones but yeah this is the little piece that i'm talking about so if anyone's got four of these lying around i'd love to have them off you so let me know down below if you've got them but yeah anyway let's get these bits on the new jets and install the new jets right now so as you can see that washer jet is installed but this washer jet doesn't quite fit in the hole it gets to about there and gets too tight so i was measuring it off of the previous one that obviously it had some flex in the little pins that hold it in so what it means is i've got to shave it down with this so i'm using these like swiss files they're basically super fine files and I'm just going in bit by bit and just filing away at the bonnet which is an absolutely terrifying thing and basically doing this until the washer jets fit so you, the good thing about these is they're so fine that it does it really really slowly so yeah I'm going to repeat this process until I can get the washer jet to actually fit in the hole so this is should in theory Pop in just like that, boom. Now I can actually plumb in the line for the actual washer jets and then this install is completely done. This should be the easiest part of this entire install. And that's it done. All right, let's get a look at this thing. Shall we cut to some cinematics in three, two, one. There we go, guys. I am so happy with how this has turned out. I mean, I know obviously I've kept this a secret for over a year that I've actually had this thing, but it's absolutely crazy for me actually seeing it on the car after having it up on my wall for 10 months. I'm so, so happy with how it looks and I love how it flows into the carbon now of the front grille. So that obviously needs some relacquer that needs saving because 
it looks so bad compared to how fresh this carbon looks. I can't believe I actually own this bonnet. I'm so happy with the condition that it's in and how fresh it looks now. Really brings the car together and is pretty much how I want this car to look now. There are a couple of other things I want to do and this bonnet has always been that dream piece for me so I'm so happy to finally have it on the car. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the process with this one. I know it's obviously been a long one and hopefully you actually like what the car looks like. I mean I think it looks absolutely incredible. I love the carbon and cosmic grey colour combo obviously as I've done it so much with the rest of this car. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this thing or let me know down below whether you think I should have just left it on the wall. Either way that's going to do it for this one guys. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel like this one and i'll catch you guys in the next one